Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go right under newsletters. You're going to see Mastering Probability on the right-hand side. You just hit that subscribe button. You get Mastering Probability for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you get it for one year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come, folks, with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So come over, check it out. You, you'd certainly get a market, you know, good, <laughs> bad, or indifferent, man. We get a market out here, and you're going to get some great action. What's happening, brother? <laughs> That's an understatement. <laughs> that is an understatement. <laughs> There's no I, doubt, I, man. I mean, you blink and you can miss it. Uh, yeah, look know. at so that. It's, it's, we were down it's, 70 it's, and now we're down 14 on the S&Ps. Uh, that's, yeah, that's a yeah. fact. And, and look, as, as you have shared with folks for, you know, two decades plus out here, um, for you, you rely so much on swing points. And, you know, what we've got going on right now in the ES Mini right now, which you were talking about. And I, I've got a presentation ready like I normally do, but I just thought we'd switch over here, take a look at the ES Mini. Uh, I would share with the folks what it is that I'm looking at here, just so they can understand at least what's going on play by play. Yes, you know, intraday. absolutely. And so, so on the daily time frame chart, as you pointed out, we're testing that uh, February 24th low, that 4094.25 level. Half an hour looked like we were going to blow through that, right? So you never know until the day closes, um, which is why you don't want to look too far in. You don't want to make a decision about a daily time frame chart until basically the day is almost over. But we do have these intraday time frame charts that I have up on my screen, and they can help lead us to understanding what might take place on larger time frames. So, for example, in the upper right hand corner, Tom, this is a 30 minute time frame chart. I'll just expand it out for the ES Mini. And one of the patterns that I teach subscribers, so that folks that uh, subscribe to the newsletter service will learn this pattern so that way. It's not foreign to them. And it's a great pattern for helping to identify tops and bottoms. And right now, uh, you've got a uh, what I refer to as a Rhodes Mintum Indicator bottom. It's when price gets stretched, in this case here, to the downside. Uh, that's not being confirmed by the technical patterns. And the way that we wait for a confirmation that 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 uh, this pattern is going to take holds, we wait for some type of bullish reversal candle. Well, right now, we've got a gigantic bullish reversal candle going. Still 10 minutes left in this bar here, but we're going to get a Three River Morning Star. So what people should just anticipate at least overnight is the bounce here the 30 minute chart tom is suggesting we should get up to the 4144 level maybe even 4154 if price closes above 4154 you'd expect a further rally uh, in the overnight hours so that's the 30 minute time frame chart with that bottoming signal as we speak here as we shorten this up we have the same type of bottoming signal on the 60 minute chart and this next level of resistance which is at uh, 4132 basically tom that's going to be come up first so if we see a close above that then that suggests getting into that potentially the 4154 level. I don't have any bottoming signals. I have bottoming signals on the four hour and five hour chart, but they still need more time to complete before I would make a call there. Uh, but they're also showing the same type of bottoming pattern that we looked at on the 30 minute and the 60 minute. So that's kind of like the quick play by play as to what's going on, what folks should you know observe and pay attention to overnight. Any any questions about these charts? And uh, before I switch over to the no. presentation, oh, well, okay, perfect. Perfect, cool. perfect. So you were in the midterm election cycle. We haven't talked about these uh, 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 charts uh, for a while. And the interesting thing about the midterm uh, cycle is that May is a real underperformer. So, you know, what we were looking at in the markets just a half an hour ago was kind of like, oh, boy, this is like right on schedule. And this is the midterm presidential cycle if we go all the way back to 1898. And uh, what I've got highlighted here is the month of May, which you can see. So over this time period, but May and June are, are really typically during the during the presidential or the uh, the midterm cycle. Tom, they're they're basically awful. And this is obviously a very long term chart. So if we shorten it up a tad and we come to 1958 out here, we'll still see that the same pattern exists with May and June and even April here being which we had a very poor April, obviously being bad months. So it's all the reason to, to not get too caught up into the intraday stuff that you and I just looked at, but trying to understand the, the larger pattern that's out here. If we look at a presidential cycle. 
that takes us uh, just for the last two decades, 1982 uh, through uh, 2018. Um, you know, it's kind of a flat market out here. Uh, nothing, nothing to write home about. But if we take a look at the chart up, uh, up here, you know, you can see that this is suggesting, you know, from from May continuing to head lower into the July, August, uh, September, October timeframe out there. And if we look at a very short seasonal cycle out here this is from 1998 to 2018 out here so basically the last two decades we can see may and june have just been horrible performers so that's something that we really need to be paying attention to we're just right now it appears to get a counter trend move um you know if that changes then we'll come back and take a look at things so may and june are typically very poor performing months during the midterm election cycle so so that's something that we all have to look forward to and talking about swing points so i've had to redo these charts so tom i start doing this usually in the morning yes. when i do a update with you and so i did it early this morning then i change it again at about uh, 12 30 and then i'm scrambling from 2 30 to 3 because of the price action to say okay i need to change up the charts just a bit so right now i think that the uh, s p i'm not sure i know where the es mini is but is the s p also rejecting that uh, september i'm sorry the uh, february 24th low as we, which is around 41.14. Yes, um, uh, okay. we are at, uh, let's see. Yeah, it is. It is. So, yeah. so right now you got to say, but folks, if we get it close below 41.14, doesn't matter whether it's today or Wednesday or Friday or next week out there. That's just when you when you bust through a swing point, And I've got a couple of swing points out here with these red arrows, March 3rd, March 18th. Those were swing. Uh, that was a swing point. Well, March 18th was when the swing point was when price broke through that swing point out there for March 3rd. And that led to higher price. So it's the reason why we're watching this 4114 level uh, um, so so closely. So right now we might have rejection, counter trend rally out there. If I take a look at seven of the nine indices that we track, and this was the chart that I was really changing because, you know, this morning it, it didn't look as bad as it did a half an hour ago and a half an hour ago take a look at these indices the Dow the S&P the Nasdaq 100 the New York Stock Exchange the semiconductors the Russell the trannies out there the Wilshire 5000 Nasdaq composite seven of those nine were trading below swing points so just really adding to that midterm seasonal cycle pattern Tom where we should expect or anticipate that the markets are going to move low not lower not that we're not going to have maybe some rip your face off rallies but things are just simply not looking good uh, good out there so the Russell here's the Russell 2000 uh, it's broken through its swing points now I don't know where it's trading right now but this has the potential uh, to actually form a bottom between now and Wednesday out there uh, and that would be a TD nine count uh, pattern that's something I also teach to subscribers so today is going to become bar number eight and on the low of the pattern it needs to form on either bars eight or nine or the bar following nine. So right now, this has the potential to generate a bottom signal. The semiconductor index, even though it broke through those swing points, uh, last week on uh, Thursday, I believe it was, it formed a three drive to a bottom pattern. But its bounce might only take us to resistance, which is 245.03. That's the top of its uh, daily profile out there. So as you say, we've, we've got markets out here, and uh, this is, a, uh, this is a, uh, a fun time to trade from a technical standpoint. May not be that fun from a... Uh, investing uh, standpoint yeah, yeah right you know right. i mean we're, we're we could be in for some real real trouble here for the next couple of months yeah it's really intriguing steve how uh that may and june was so consistent over that many years man that's yeah, exactly meaning in yeah. that mid cycle that's <laughs> Yeah, Brilliant. when I started looking at this morning, that this morning, I was like, why did I wait this long? To look it's intense, man. Right. Listen, folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see a master, hit newsletters, master improvement probabilities right on the right hand side. Hit that baby and you are off to the races. Steve, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. If you want you to too, Tom. Thank you.